Hey my awesome people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be creating this purchase summary page using Elementor and WooCommerce. Let's get started. Well, this video is part of my WooCommerce Elementor series where I show you how to create a WooCommerce website using Elementor. And in the previous video, I showed you how you can integrate with a couple of different payment gateways so that you can start collecting payments on your website. But before that, we created a checkout page tutorial or video that shows you how you can create and customize your checkout page using Elementor. So in brief, the purchase summary page we are going to be creating will have the gravata for the client and this will be connected to the email they are using when they are making the purchase we'll have this dynamic content added over here for example pulling up the client name and also the welcome text added we'll have the order details the order number the order date and as well as everything down below here in details on what they actually ordered so without any further ado let's go straight into our dashboard and get started so back into our dashboard we already have a page called purchase summary but we are not going to use this because when i use the woocommerce imported pages they have some layout conflicts with elementor so i prefer to create my own pages and then customize them the way i want now i'll add a new page and i'll just name it purchase summary page good so i'll edit this and then i'll open that up in elementor just to check on the settings we're using the default layout which is okay now let's come over here to our checkout page and we are going to copy this hero so copy and come here to our purchase summary page and paste that hero and i think that's all for now i needed from the checkout page i'll close this i am going to remove this bread cramp now i'll add an image widget and as well as edit content over right here in our heading widget come over here to widgets then add an image widget add it to our container and now i am going to change the direction for our container to be horizontal just like this and we'll make the width to be 100 percent we will select the image widget come to the image widget dynamic tags and come down below here there is something called user profile now this should pick up the image that was used alongside with your email on the Gravata website. So this is like a global website where creators and authors add their images so that once they use an email on any website or wherever they comment anywhere, their image will show up. I have a specific video about that on how you can link your email to an image so that it can be the same image displayed all over on, on the entire internet. And if you want to check it out, please check out the links in the description of this video. So right now the email attached on this account is not having a gravata. So what I'm going to do for now, I'm going to update. I'll use the Elementor Finder, go to the dashboard, and I'm going to come to users. Factor would have just gone to my profile. So here. I'll change this email to another email and this is the email that has an image attached to it and then I'll update my profile. This will require me to verify my email address so I'll go to my Gmail and then verify that email that I just added. Now when I come back here to my Elementor editor and I reload this page, you should see that here there is now an image that will show up. Awesome! Now I have a Gravata image showing up over right here. But this is not the style that we want our Gravata image to be in. So I'm going to add, come to border radius. And we're going to add a border radius of 50 all over. So we have something like this. Good. Now onto the heading widget. Select that. Right over here when someone is on their purchase summary page, they see their image. They see their name. And a thank you text of probably thanking them for making a purchase on your website. And how do we do this? We're going to select this heading widget, select the dynamic tags. And here we're going to select the user's first name. So come down below here. There is an option for user info. And for user info, we can choose the user's first name. Just make sure that the user profile in WordPress has all these details so that you're able to echo in the right information here. Now I'm going to come over here to the advanced option. And before the user info, I'm going to say hi, space. Then after the name, we're going to add some custom content. So now it should be reading like, hey, Hamza, thank you. Your order has been received. So that means that whenever another client makes an order on our website, their name will be echoed up. Hey, Joan. Hey, Veronica. 
whatever person that is and then i'll thank them and then confirm that we have received their order i hope that actually now makes sense so i want to align the items to be in the center to just look like this and so far so good you can go ahead and check into the responsive settings and make sure that everything looks nice and neat now the next part of this video we're going to be adding our purchase summary details for the client to read and how do we do that we are going to add a new section add a section and i'm going to come here and look up for our purchase summary widget from elementor drag it over right here and first thing i'm going to do is that since i've now customized the text up here in the header or in the hero i'm going to disable this confirmation message so i'll disable that so with our main container selected i'll add some padding at the top so under advanced so padding top is going to be a 40 and padding bottom will be a 40 as well so now let's go into the contents that are appearing on the purchase summary page for example we can display the payment information over here the order number the order date and these fields can also be dynamically referenced this purchase was made using the PesaPal payment gateway and if you watched my tutorial on how to integrate with payment gateways i showed you how you can actually integrate with PesaPal. if you haven't watched that please go and check it out in the previous video or i'll also be leaving it down in the description of this video the other part that for me really stands out is the preview settings for example you can choose to display based on the latest order or on the order id now that means that if a client has made several orders on your website you can choose to display the orders based on the order ids or based on the latest order i'll point it back to the latest order and now let's go to the styling options under the style option we are going to make the background color to be white and for the spacing i'm going to make that to be a 30. this section is basically for the confirmation message and we actually don't have the confirmation message showing up over here so we don't need to add any styling for the confirmation message then for the general text it is also going to be in black so which is our main color and then the typography is going to be our body text something like this now let's go to the payment details for the spacing in between is going to be a 30 and the color for the titles is going to be black and then for the typography we are going to choose our body text that's it and for the items we're going to choose a color which is a secondary color for our items here and for the typography we are going to choose our body text now it looks nice and neat for the dividers we are actually going to add a transparent color for the dividers in between here so we are going to make it a transparent color of our blue and we can as well just you know make it a solid border and add some weight to the border so let me say um maybe a three hood look okay -ish. you can go ahead and style up all these other sections for example order details for the titles and color it's going to be black and then for the typography will be our body text and then for the items they are already picking up our global styles so i'm going to just you know emphasize that using our global styles then the typography is going to be the body text update let's go and preview our purchase summary page there is our purchase summary page now if we look into the responsive settings so responsive mode tablet we can get this fixed so select the container and then unlink and i'll just add a 40 all over link them 40 top bottom right and left looks good and then now let's go to the mobile so for the mobile also looks good so i don't have to make any changes over there what i'm going to do now is update preview our purchase summary page looks good i'm going to come now here to our elementor editor come to the hamburger icons under site settings we're going to come to woocommerce and there is an option called purchase summary so here we'll search for our purchase summary page we created good there it shows up and now i'm going to update so for now we're going to come back here to our cart page and i'll just simply go to the checkout your client will have to select a payment mode in this case i've chose cash on delivery and now i have agreed and accepted to the terms and conditions then what i have to do is simply place the order now this should redirect me to our purchase summary page that we created great see how that now looks like awesome 
So anyway, in a nutshell, that's how you can create a purchase summary page or a thank you page in this case where your visitors will be redirected after making a successful purchase on your website. Now, in case you have any questions or comments about this video, let me know down in the comment box below. Otherwise, if you like the video, please give it a like. And if you're new to the channel, please make sure that you subscribe. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to create my account page using Elementor and in this my account page it will be for your client in this case where they can always log into and look into their orders and their previous activities on your WooCommerce website. Thank you so much for watching, have a good time and goodbye.